All right. Uh, do we have, who do we have next? Uh, is it Sally McNally? Yes, indeed. Sally, how are you? Sally, you can hear me? Yes. Can you hear me okay? Absolutely, Sally. I can hear you. You're uh, with the Women's Health Partnership Medical Group Certified Nurse Midwife Health Nurse Practitioner. That's another long line that I managed to get to the, to the end of. Um, a midwife. Years from now, parents are going to turn to their kids and going to tell them you were born in the year of COVID. And with a bit of luck, the kid will turn to the parent and say, what? Never heard of it. Um, but this must be an extraordinarily hard time and worrying time uh, for expectant mothers. Uh, how, how has this been the case in, in your work this year? Well, it's very different. Usually we are very easy going. We let all the family members come into the birth. And it's, it's lovely sometimes we have the younger children, we have the grandparents, whoever the mother wants. Sometimes yeah. she only just wants her partner there. But it's lovely to have that choice. Yeah. And right now it's just her partner that's allowed in. Um, so they rely a lot more on their midwives, their doctors, their nurses, you know, for the emotional support. And what I notice a lot in the office, um, we, we can only allow the patient herself into the office. So um, we're doing a lot of uh, extra surveillance for mental health disorders because our patients are super anxious. They're conceiving their baby, like you say, in the time of COVID, and they don't know what that means. Does that mean like, there could be something wrong with my baby or am I at risk of something happening? So they're extra anxious. Um, so we've started doing extra surveillance for that. We give them little surveys to make sure that they're not getting depressed or super anxious. And of course, the numbers are pretty high. What we're finding. Absolutely. Um, so beyond this year or, or beyond COVID, do, do you think that what you have learned this year, you will bring with you that it, it, will, it will change the way that midwives go about their business, that you'd be almost expanding your, your work into that sort of emotional realm. Um, will it be, will that be a permanent change, do you think? Well, um, I think, yes, it will be a permanent change, but also when the vaccinations come and uh, people aren't so afraid of each other, there'll be more um, touch going on. Like right now, um, yeah. when I touch my patient when she's in labor, I'm like gloves and gowns and masks and, you know, so it's it's not the same as when I can like hold her and you know um, rock her and talk right into her ear. So it's, there's there's that separation. But so we're learning a different way of talking to our patients too, which is like to try and transfer that that uh, emotional support to our words. And um, maybe if we can't touch them the way we could. Um, absolutely. You know, I mean. But the work is a different place, yeah. You bet it's a different place, but life goes on, and, and you're a witness to that every day, that life is going on, new life yes, is arriving. I, I remind our patients that their babies are hope for the future, and, exactly. um, you know, the baby in the winter, I always say, all oh, these winter babies are fat and strong and healthy, and... Um, the babies don't know that there's a pandemic. They need the same love and care and, and, and um, motherly instincts that the, the mother has naturally. So I think that once her baby's born and they get to see the baby looks fine, uh, then the joy can come. And, 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 it, and it is the same joy, you know, so, so that goes on. Yeah, and, that, and it, is great to, it is great to hear that, Sally. Um, listen, thank you. Um, for your inspiring words and for your work. Um, you're a most deserving community Thank champion you. for 2020 and the best to you and all your fellow midwives. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And thank you, this is a great honor. Thank you very much. Not at all, not at all. Uh, thanks, Sally. And next, uh, I think we have Maureen Lyons. 